Hello there. Today we will talk about locating information, finding the right information at the right place. Hold on. Before you start taking notes, before you pull out your backpack and everything, let's take a step back and look at digital and print sources. So digital sources are the online sources and the print resources are things you can touch with your hand like any kind of books. So these are three very common print resources, thesaurus, dictionary, and encyclopedias. A thesaurus gives you antonyms and synonyms. It helps you understand words better and you can use more than one word that means almost the same or the opposite and increase your vocabulary using a thesaurus. You know, we have used a dictionary before. It gives you the meaning, the word origin, and even pronunciation. It teaches you how to say a word correctly. And encyclopedias are sets of books. They have all the information on one subject. There may be an encyclopedia on just whales. Whoa, that's huge. And digital resources are search engines, websites, and videos that give you information. Remember that you have to look at reputable, reliable, and facts-based digital resources. There are many out there and you have to choose carefully. Two examples of very reliable websites end in .gov and .org. Ask your teacher on how to find reliable digital sources. After all, they are very good resources. Let's apply this knowledge in reading a passage. So this is a print resource. If you were to find out information about how strong gravitational pull is, you will read the section called The Force. And here you will locate information. If you want to know how a black hole appears, you will look at a photograph. You are locating information. And this is an example of a reputable website. It ends in .org. Look, there is where you can find videos. There is where you can find more space facts. And all these different tabs take you to different places. Remember to search for the keywords you are looking for in the search bar. And remember to locate information and digital resources carefully. Now that you have looked at print and digital resources, apply this knowledge and conquer the universe. If you are looking for information that supports your opinions, conclusions, or predictions, remember to search for those in print and digital sources. Always ask for your teacher's help or a librarian's help or your parents' help and they can always direct you to the right resources to find the correct information.